We have a saying in Harlem that the world revolves around Harlem. Everything that Harlem does, the rest of New York does. And everything the rest of New York do, the rest of the world do. So in order for us to keep the Harlem culture here, we must be here. The common narrative of gentrification is white people moving into these predominantly black neighborhoods. I think it's more complicated because when we think about black people, I think we sort of paint them with a broad stroke. And what I mean by that is that if you're a black person in Harlem, it's automatically like you're of the community, which I thought that I was as well, just like immediately fusing into it when it's not that simple. My name is John Presley. I was born and raised in Harlem, New York. Right now I'm an artist full-time. I mean, I work part-time. Well, growing up in Harlem, like, when I was growing up, it wasn't easy. It was a lot of vacant lots, and, like, it was a lot of empty space, you feel me? It was a lot of poverty, it was a lot of graffiti, it was a lot of violence and diminished buildings, a lot of trash everywhere, you feel me? It was, it was cool. We, we appreciated it because we grew up here. We knew, we knew how to survive here, you feel me? But people who didn't understand it, like, they would, they would never get caught here <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> My name is Morgan Jerkins. I'm from New Jersey, and right now I am a freelance writer. I came to Harlem and I was just like, I'm gonna go there and easily slide into the vicissitudes of this place, the ups and downs, the ebbs and flows. Um, and as, when I came here, I realized there was a difference. And my roommate says, I, didn't, I don't have that New York edge yet. So when someone says hello to me, I say hello back. And it's like, they knew me like, oh, you know, you're not from the city. You're definitely outside. And it was funny because like, it was flattering um, in a sense of like, yeah, you're right. You know about me. But then it was like, oh, but you know, like I'm not from here. And once I started to absorb that, okay, you're an outsider. It was like, what does that all entail now? When I was in New Jersey, there was no gentrification. There was no idea of like the different layers of black music. We're black, that's it. It's nothing to think about. It's something that we are. It's something that we encapsulate. Why do we need to talk about it and think about it? Now I'm dealing with two radical interpretations of what it means to displace someone else. And you might have the same skin color. And that's a hard thing to grapple with, especially right now. New Harlem is, is turned into a good area. It's a nice area to live in. For, for the people who live here, it's a tragedy. I mean, they look at it as white people coming in, taking our land type thing. but. At the end of the day, life is about progression. You feel me? And that's all that's all that's that's going on. Even like richer black people are moving here. So it's not just white people, it's people with wealth. So if we just say this is a black versus white issue in the midst of things that are also going on, like police brutality, intersectionality with feminists, it's easier for us to digest and saying, well, wait a minute. If you start to cut away and look at the different aspects, maybe to certain people that may seem like you're trying to disenfranchise them even more, or make us divisive. And so I feel like with my narrative, it's just being more aware of who I am and understanding that, yes, like when we talk about other issues, like we are together in this, we also understand how, how am I affecting my community? What privileges have I been willfully obtuse about? But now it's in my face. And now I can't stop thinking about that woman that lives five blocks, that even I don't know who she is. How am I affecting her rent? Harlem, Harlem, it's a dope place. <laughs> it's, it's like we couldn't, we couldn't stay with the vacant lots and in poverty our whole life. Like they had to build buildings and it's worth money. Like everything is going up. Everything is going up really. So we must step our game up, feel me, get into these subsidized houses, feel me, and raise get out get our degrees and get these jobs where we can afford these houses. <laughs>